Hello guys, how are you today? Well, what I wanted to tell you guys was I've listened to what some of you guys are saying. I listen to a lot of what you say and that you guys want some stories. So I'm working on uh, making some stories or telling some stories, not making stories, but telling stories of things that have happened. But the story that I'm going to tell today, let me see which one is this. Um... Where is it? I don't know which one it is. Um, oh, Toulon. I'm going to tell you a story about when I spent Christmas in Toulon, France. Oh, yeah. So, what I, the other thing that I want to tell you is that this video, because I don't know how to edit yet, is all raw. It's straight. There's not going to be any cuts. It's just straight up. So what you see is what you get, and that's how it's going to be. So without further ado, let's get into the story. So I was assigned to the USS Savannah. Was it Savannah? AOR4? No. I think that was it. And we were deployed and we were deployed to around around in Europe, and we happened to pull into into Toulon, and I'm with a helicopter squadron, 8C8, and I'm with the detachment, and we this um, we have to change the engine and do phases on our bird, which is overhauls, you know, do change the fluids, all that stuff on our birds, on our two helicopters, so. We fly off the ship into an Air Force base in France. Um, and we fly there, and it takes like three hours to drive from the car with a car to back to the boat. So we, we flew, everybody flew in, and we get there. We, uh, we, meet, we meet some French, French Air Force people. And basically, they said, hey, whatever you need, you can have. You just, we have to, only thing is, you have to pay to live in the barracks. Um, and you have to pay for your meals. And we were like, okay. Um, they talked to the ship to see if we could get uh, per diem. And the ship said no, so you had to pay out of your pocket. Or you could go back to the ship, work all day. And then there would be a shuttle that went back to the ship three hours and you stay on the ship and then you could come back the next day. And I wasn't having it. It was $9. I think it was $9 a day to stay there. And we were going to, we were going to be in port. We were going to be in port six or eight days. It's a it long Christmas break. So uh, the Savannah, the Savannah AOR4 is an oiler. So, and most everybody else is in and out of port. So we're good. We're going to be there eight, almost six to eight days. That's what we were told. So we pull in. We get there. Everything is nice. It's a couple of days before Christmas, and they have these French Air Force girls. Oh, man. Anyway, so we go, we go to their... Um, to their NCO club for drinks. They invite us. They invite us to go to their NCO club for drinks. So we go. We, we go to their Air Force club for drinks, and then we leave there and we go to dinner. Well, after dinner, normally we we go back. Everybody gets you know goes back and does what they got to do. We normally don't go. It was the first time we had went to their NCO club. First time because we had you have to be invited, but we were invited. So after we ate, and man, they have such good food. After we ate, we went. They invited us to go back to the NCO club. So we went back to the NCO club and got smashed, just having a ball. So uh, their captain, which is their captain, or their colonel, which is the same as a 06. He's equivalent to an 06. A colonel in our in our Air Force, 
asked us did we want to go to Christmas dinner with them. And we and my uh, ROIC said, sure, we'd like to go to Christmas dinner with you. We're not at home. It would be, it would be, you know, so we had to send people back to the ship to get our dress blues. Our blues, so we, you know, our, our dress uniforms, so we could go to dinner with them. So we went. It was a the dinner was amazing. Amazing dinner. They because they they bring you out. We're all sitting there and they have the, the Air Force people on the other side from the French from the French Air Force and they're in their dress uniform and we're in our dress uniform and they bring out different portions of food. So, you know, like they'll serve uh, wine and cheese and uh, fish, and then they take the plates away. Then they bring out another wine, a white wine, a red wine, and a Bordeaux. You know, I, I, don't, I didn't know anything about wine. And uh, so we're there, we're drinking, we're eating, and and we have like, damn, we have like a, a 15 course meal, like a 15 course meal with dessert, everything. And the price was supposed to have been $9. The general, their general, uh, had a general there. He said it was free, it was on none. So after we get through with dinner, we uh, we start hanging out with the French people again, French females and French guys, the French French Air Air Force people, and uh, so they start these contests where a French guy starts drinking a bottle of wine. He takes uncorks the bottle, takes the bottle, turns it up, drinks the whole bottle. Another guy takes the bottle, uncorks the bottle, American one of the sailors with us, opens the, the bottle, drinks, he can't drink the whole bottle. And they're, they're like laughing at him, you know. So my dumbass, I uncorked the bottle, I drank a whole bottle of red wine. The whole bottle. The problem with drinking wine that fast it's not American wine, and it's really good, and it's got a high alcohol content. So about 35, 40 minutes, we're at their NCO club because their club is going to close, and I'm like, oh, my stomach, oh, God. So I go in the bathroom, and I proceed to fill up the toilet with uh, probably three quarters of this bottle of wine in one shot. Just boom, boom. But I'm drunk. I'm really, really drunk. So I go sit down. I start drinking water. I start drinking water. The second, the second one comes, and I have to go back to the bathroom, and I drop that one in there. So, long story short, I regurgitated a couple of times. So, about 1 o'clock in the morning, I feel better. So, we go out in town in our, in our dress uniform, and we go to this club, and they're playing the band. It's a band, and they're playing Mustang Sally on, on stage, and the guy is singing... And I'm sitting back there, Mustang Salad, Mustang Salad, my baby. And uh, for some reason, uh, probably the alcohol, I got up, walked to the stage, got on the stage, grabbed the microphone, and started throwing down. Just having a blast. Had a real good time. We left there, went down. We were already downtown. We went further into town, and uh, I think I was doing shots when uh, 
my OIC told me that we had to leave because I did something or we I did something, another guy did something, and it was going to bring discredit on our on us. I don't know what I did because I was five sheets to the wind and two more. And uh, but the one thing that I remember more than anything was we had a really good time and the food was amazing. So if you have an opportunity to be somewhere, go have a good time. Try not to um, overindulge is the word I want to use to impress your host, because that's what I did to, to so see that we could do that. And um, really what I really wanted to say to everyone is Merry Christmas. Have a great Christmas. And uh, it's another story in the book, baby. Got a couple of these. Y'all Y'all made me think of stories that I'm going to want to tell. So I want to say Merry Christmas and thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you with another story very soon. Y'all take care of yourselves. And uh, on that note, I'm going to give you this hand. And I'm going to say goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.